Hello everyone and welcome back for a look at a spot of progress on the second elevated rail station here in New Jiang City. It should go without saying that this is a work in progress because this is only my second video about the progress of building this thing from scratch one day after the first video about it. So if it looks incomplete it's because it is quite very incomplete and won't be done until it's done. Also please be sure to check out the pinned comment on this video if you have any questions or concerns about the placement of this station. It is uh, definitely exactly where I want it to be, it's exactly where it needs to be, and I will not be moving it anytime soon. Put plenty of thought into its placement and have been putting thought into it for years now actually that I've been looking forward to putting this in. So what will be happening is just continued building of this. Uh, Pretty much you can expect that everything that you see here now uh, will not exist in the final version as this is just a work in progress but i'm just building it up and trying and experimenting with different things as i always do and just getting it to be a little bit more solid figuring out exactly where things need to be uh, a lot of the the work in this type of stuff the way that i build you know just starting from scratch and just building with pieces and not doing major designs other than possibly some things that are done in my head but uh, for the most part it's just kind of on the fly uh, one of the major things is is just figuring out exactly what dimensions every major feature needs to to take up and uh, here the stairs are really important the stairs here are going to be three wide. It's just the, the absolute minimum to fit a minifigure in there to keep the whole thing as small and lightweight as possible. I really want this to be generally a, a lightweight build and to be fairly open and airy and to not have a lot of visual weight down here on the edge of the layout. So obviously I've put a little bit more work into the left hand side but there's a ton more to be done. But this is starting to show a little bit how it's shaping up and this also lets you see kind of where it's going to be exactly because previously I, I showed it a little bit farther in and explained exactly where it was going to be but you know there's there's no substitute for actually showing something visually so this is where it's going to go this is how it's going to be lined up and the rail will just go straight through at the same level where it's at now the platform level is where it's supposed to be the stairs are coming up roughly where they're going to at both ends, symmetrical from one side to the next, and definitely the wheelchair lift, the uh, elevator in the center there will be, will be dropping off and picking up right at that exact location. And then everything else is very much up for grabs and, and uh, subject to change dramatically. I could even change how the stairs go. Uh, underneath, you know, whether they, they turn, I could swap them around, a lot of things can be done there. I also need to have the, the entrance and exit gates uh, mirrored over to the other side so that people can get access from either street. And I might do something a little bit different with this back wall, which really is intended to be a proper wall, like a, a barrier. You know, it needs to keep people out of the the major railway as the actual big trains will be coming by, but I wanted to let some light through there. I don't know, it feels a little bit too much like a, like a, a classic shell kind of, kind of look, you know, shell colors and color scheme and stuff. As a matter of fact, if you just look across the layout over there at the shell station, you can see some of the similarities. So I might change this out, might bring in a little bit of uh, curvature in there, maybe some slopes change things up a little bit with that that lower kind of retainer wall but this is how things are going and this is the pro the the process of progress things start out very very slim and basic and then stuff gets added and it remains rough and it stays rough and it keeps looking bad until it's done and then maybe it looks bad still to some people but at least when it's done it'll be done the way that I want it to and while I'm here I wanted to go ahead and cover one more uh, little little thing that's relevant to New Jiang City. Uh, unlike the area up above, all this stuff here, all this stuff, unlike all of this stuff, which is all about me doing what I want to do, expressing my creativity, having fun, enjoying creating a world of my own exactly the way I want it to 
to be, uh, where I'm really not interested in in uh, following along with what other people want to see up there or want to see done. Down here, this Mellonby district area is completely dedicated to what other people want, what you want, what viewers want. And in the last video where I, where I looked down here and talked about this space, I asked about the placement of this roller coaster. Yes, I have taken a few pieces off of it. I will put them back. Don't worry about that. But I asked you about this roller coaster and whether you wanted it to stay here, what you thought about it just in general, and also the little carousel there as well. But the roller coaster is obviously the, the big deal, literally and figuratively down here. And based on your, your, your answers to my questions, uh, this will not be staying. It won't be removed immediately because I don't have a place to to put it. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it, but I will not be keeping it down here. It will not be a feature of the Mellon district. Many of you asked to have this remain, and I appreciate that feedback. I appreciate your desires to have it somewhere. A lot of a lot of people who, who wanted to see it stay really just wanted to see it stay in kind of in my life and in my Lego world in general. Uh, many many folks said, you know, put it somewhere else if you want. Make a whole proper theme park area. But far too many of you said that this doesn't belong down here with the upcoming cyberpunk theme that that so many of you selected for this space. It just doesn't go with it. Could possibly be modified a little bit. Uh, certainly the tracks could be used for some transit systems, but ultimately as a huge you know, once a year, top of the line thing, as a as a complete thing, and especially once you start looking at other theme park related rides and such together, it just does not belong down here. So I I respect that. I I like the thing. I like the fact that it took up a lot of space. It's going to take me a long time to fill up this space, but ultimately it's just not the right decision to keep it here, according to all of you, or according to the majority, the vast majority of you. So I am going to, like I said, just uh, comply with that because this is all about what what most of you want to see, and I'm I'm happy to come up with alternatives. I don't have another place to put this. I don't think that I will be placing it in in New Jiang City at all. Uh, I don't have any space for a theme park. I'm not going to make space for a theme park by destroying other plans that I've had for years to do other things. Uh, any space that you see, as always, has already been reserved for many, many, many other things. I do not have enough space as it is for the things that I personally want to put up here. So, sorry, but no, <laughs> no theme park. And I also have no other space to add tables in this room. The only other space that I have to place things at all is up there on the, the mantle, basically. Uh, there's, there's not quite enough space there. There's not enough depth there. It's only one single base plate deep. And then over here, but I mean, this is kind of a mess and it's kind of a spot that I tend to use for temporary placements of things. And I've already got some things here on display. I mean, the, the, uh, the Star Destroyer, the Super Star Destroyer down there, it seems to be happy in that spot, but this uh, Saturn Saturn rocket doesn't really belong here, and I need to figure out what to do with this whole side anyway. But no space for a theme park. Plenty of other people on YouTube are doing Lego theme parks, so I have no worries about that, and I have no personal attachment to the idea of theme parks. So that'll just be going away, and... Uh, like I said, don't expect it to go away immediately, but it will happen based on your feedback. And I will continue to work on the stuff that I want to work on up here, which presently involves that second elevated passenger train station. So stay tuned for updates, and I'll talk to you again soon.